API and SDK are popular acronyms in the programming world. The terms are related, but are distinctly different. Today, I'll explain the difference and what it means for developer productivity. Let's start with APIs. I'll use an ice cream shop metaphor. Imagine you visit the local ice cream shop and want to pick a flavor. You start by looking at a menu to understand the flavors available and interact with an employee to place your order. In the world of computers, this is similar to how APIs work. An API is like the menu of options that a shop provides. It lists the ice creams along with descriptions of each one, and it acts as a bridge between you and the shop, allowing you to request and receive ice cream without understanding how it's made. Another aspect of APIs is they are programming language agnostic, meaning they can be used by developers building apps in popular languages like Java, Ruby, Python, and many more. For this reason, APIs are like the common language that different software programs use to communicate. APIs also act as building blocks for developers. They can use APIs to integrate features, services, or data into their applications without having to recreate everything from scratch. For example, a weather application can display the current temperature using a weather API. Now, how do SDKs fit into the picture? As I mentioned, APIs are a common language different software programs use to communicate. SDKs help developers access API functionality in the programming language they speak. This next point is essential to understand. Developers communicate with APIs through software development kits, but SDKs are not required to actually use your APIs. More on that later. Now, in our ice cream shop scenario, an API is like the menu offering a variety of ice cream flavors. Now, let's introduce the concept of an SDK. You're at the ice cream shop and you want to create your perfect banana split. You approach the counter, and the shop offers you a specialized banana split builder kit. This kit includes the tools to construct your banana split masterpiece. Just as the banana split kit provides instructions, a spoon, a dish, and a banana, an SDK offers developers essential tools and pre-made code components. The SDK ensures you create your banana split without needing a professional chef. Similarly, in the software world, an SDK streamlines that development process, saving developers time and effort by enabling them to use an API without having to become an expert in all the technical details of your API. Now, can developers work directly with an API? Well, yes, of course they can. Using an API without an SDK just means a developer will write all the code to work directly with an API's endpoint and the data they receive. Now, imagine making a banana split without the long shaped dish and the spoons to measure and spread the toppings. This can be daunting if you've never made a banana split before. But through trial and error, you'd eventually get the job done. Working with a new API without an SDK can feel a bit the same. What's the benefit of using an SDK, you might ask? Well, the development process becomes more streamlined and user-friendly. When a developer uses an API with an SDK, developers begin by installing the SDK provided by the API provider. SDKs typically come with documentation that explains how to use them. With the SDK, the developer can use its pre-built functions to interact with the API. These functions encapsulate the complexity of making HTTP requests and handling responses. 
For example, instead of manually crafting your request in all the code, the developer can call a function like get toppings with the keyword banana split to retrieve a list of toppings for a banana split. SDKs include tools for handling data returned by the API with built in error handling, making it easier for developers to manage issues that may arise. So, whether you prefer to order from the menu or use a specialized kit to create your ice cream masterpiece, both APIs and SDKs have unique roles in software development. And with that, I don't know about you, but I'm getting hungry. Thank you for sticking around until the end. If you have questions about APIs or SDKs you'd like me to cover in a future video, let me know in the comments below, or in the description is a link to contact me directly. I look forward to hearing from you, and I'll catch you next time.